Welcome back to the Don't Look Back Network for game number four of 616 Marathon Footage 1985. February 1986, a tape was found in the former home of the killer known as the Butcher of the Forest. After the disappearance of some people at the scene, an investigation was launched. Mark Henry, the dreaded murderer, has already been executed by electrocution, so there's no possibility that he is the perpetrator of further crimes. The images you will see are from the tape found at the site, and may be disturbing images. Uh, three, two, one, recording. Oh, we got some podcasters out here. Hello, horror lovers. I'm Sarah, and the cameraman is Peter. Today we're going to enter the darkest house ever. Because we're stupid. No, she didn't say that part, but... I'm talking about the home of the butcher in the woods. A ruthless killer who killed and quartered over a hundred people. Oh, I mean. The forest butcher was sentenced to death in October 1975, but it was said that his spirit still haunts the place. We came here today to show you the scary and isolated place. Let's enter the killer's house, show you everything, and probably disappear. Oh. So come on, we're coming to the house. Let's go, Peter. So we got a I don't like the, you know, so far, I know we're only four games into the 616 library here, but I really like the fact that not every game is the same type. I mean, I love a good horror walk. Oh, fuck. Horror walking simulator as much as the next guy, but, like, you know, changing up the game type every once in a while, that's good. Like, the first one was a third person game. Um, the second two were first-person horror, um, walking sim types, and this one is in, like, the found footage style. So I hope there's other types implemented further into the library as well. This is the scariest place we've ever been. Totally isolated and has very heavy energy. Forrest Butcher kidnapped his victims and brought them here. Sliced up their bodies while they were still alive. This place is cursed as many people lost their lives in agony. Let's take a walk around the place. Come on, Peter. Follow me. Into our deaths. place is amazing, and at the same time, horrible. I'm very scared. I hear voices and noises everywhere. Go to the second floor. Follow me, Peter. This is very Blair Witchy. I like it. Really scary. I still can't believe we're in the forest butcher's house.
I can hear some voices. This place is really haunted. I wonder if the butcher is still around. Uh, you better hope not. I'm sure he is. Let's go to the room where he killed most of his victims. It's said to be the most haunted room in the house. Okay. I don't know what's going on with her face. Why? She, does she have a mask on? It's like below her chin. You see that? Uh, maybe that's her hair hanging down on the other side. I don't know. It looked like a she had like a very transparent veil over her face or something. Well, that sounded like a scream. Legend has it that the butcher kills anyone who enters his house. November 1982, Josh and his friend Michael disappeared after entering the house. No clue has ever been found to where they are. Is the legend true? Is the butcher of the forest still in this house? Um, well, I don't know who the fuck that was. Oh, we got bodies hanging. There's that one. That is fucking creepy as shit. It's not even, like, hanging by a noose or anything. It's just, like stuck on the ceiling. I don't know if that's intentional, but that's creepy as shit looking. Um. Uh. Oh, we gonna play a stop and go game here? If I move when it says don't move, we'll probably die. Shit, it's stuck! Oh god. Oh, somebody's fucking crying up there. That's Sarah? Cause she just kinda disappeared into thin air, like... Seems... louder up here. I can't get outside, though. Nothing over here. Crying stop. It's only in that one spot, like over there. I love the the Blair Witch aesthetic of the uh, the burnout. It must be upstairs. It's over there. Oh, there she is. Sarah, what happened? Uh, she's doing some real fucking the end of the Blair Witch Project shit, where she's just like facing the wall. That's fucking creepy as shit. I like that. This was definitely Blair Witch inspired. Well, at least the the atmosphere and the you know setting and shit is not the story itself, but. Sarah and Peter were never found. After the incident, the police decided to demolish the place. Probably a good idea. At the very least, to prevent more morons from going out there and getting themselves murderized. 
Oh, that was it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that was that was creepy and well done. I mean, not really any gameplay to it, except for walking and the that short little um, you know red light green light game at the end there. But that was creepy as fuck. I, I like that. Very good. Six one six library continues not to disappoint. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next game, which I believe is the Island of Mystery. Peace, y'all.